All over the world, there are theme parks that bring out happiness to our young generation. Theme parks are definitely a stretch for the people who are coming along that they can definitely take away all your sorrows or your, 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 you know, your point of view so you see in the world or the things that you're going through. It's, it's a place for you to have fun by yourself, with friends, your family. Everything as, as it comes together is one. And I hate that you got to wait on the long goddamn lines, you know, freaking universal charge and you freaking get an express pass, you know, go you know, pass all that, all that bullshit, but, you know. But overall, it's, it's definitely a, a good, fun place. Definitely try to get away. Uh, amusement parks are fun. It's a great way to go and run around and act like a child when you're 30. Going to the theme park, of course. I like it. It's a good place to be with the family, friends, and uh, overall, I think it's a really good experience for anybody. Unfortunately, nothing lasts forever. There could be many reasons why park attractions can just drop off on notice to the world. Certain reasons can be construction, safety hazards, minor sales, and so on. It could be creepy that a place of innocence can now be known as an abandoned isolated environment. However, there's one attraction that was abandoned without any fair notice at the last minute. This is Abandoned by Disney. Royal Country Water Park is now an abandoned park which is near Disney Discovery Island. I would say that's kind of weird, uh, the fact that they didn't tell the public anything because um, either, I mean, there's some chemicals in there that people would die from or there's something really top secret in there and I would love to go in there and find out what it is. No, what they could, you know, be hiding from the people. They don't want the people to know. They want to keep smiling on facing me for that Mickey Mouse is still you know waving the people here and there and that forth but but deep, deep dark secrets it can go any it can it can, it can go any way you know for for deep dark secrets for a theme park especially such as disney royal country was disney's first water park it opened in the early 1960s the attraction closed down in 2001 due to unknown reasons to the public a reason is implied that sales were low business due to september 11th and some changes in florida laws Today, the island can be seen right across the Disney Fort Wilderness campgrounds, but is off limits to the public. There was a photographer that trespassed and took pictures of the current state of the place. The picture includes an empty facility. What's really disturbing is that there are jars with snakes inside. It looks like a scene from a horror movie. There's also areas filled with baby vultures. It is now noted that if you are caught in the abandoned park, you will be banned from Disney for life. First of all, I've seen people that just swim to the to the island from what I've gathered that the, and then they spend there overnight. They on some Ghostbusters type general looking for some ghosts or something. Bro. Like they trying to figure out like what, what the heck going on right here. Like you wouldn't that catch me out there at at you know Disney at that abandoned theme park with they own. Uh, I believe being incredibly curious, but not curious to the point where I'm gonna like swim in dirty water and uh, stay the night at a weird abandoned place. That's just not my thing. Disney employees can spot the island from across. So why was the main reason for the place to close down? A possible reason is that it was because of amoeba. This specific amoeba is called the Naglaria phalari, which is basically a brain-eating parasite. The water in the park was filtered and was home to the amoeba. They are known to live in fresh warm water. A young boy was killed due to the cause of it. During the early 2000s, there was a new law in Florida that said that there cannot be any unchlorine filtered bodies of water used for water parks for safety healthy reasons, which led to the closure to the park. Today, the water park is popular due to a creepypasta titled Abandoned by Disney. I don't know what creepypasta is and I don't want to find out what creepypasta is. Maybe a point five of me wants to know what a creepypasta is. Uh, I just picture spiders and pasta, so I really, I, I, it doesn't really capture my attention. What, what, what creepypasta, what's the main creepypasta that is? It was an urban legend that originated on the internet. There are many footage of the abandoned park and urban legends on the internet, and it seems to be a quite popular trend on sites like YouTube. But will we ever find out the real truth from Disney's on why it was closed down? We may never know.